Hey everyone, um, this is going to be about glue for using um, make during your bone making process. Obviously there's quite a few different versions, please excuse this one. It tends to peel off uh, from the heat of my hands, um, so it's like a transfer rather than an actual sticker like most of them. Um, but like I said, they all have slightly different uses and I will say even these two, which is the B7000 and the E8000 or the E6000 and the Gorilla Super Glue. Um, I have personally tested it as a sort of kind of an adult that is like very heavy handed and I've also let my niece at this project that I've been trying um, and basically glued embellishments with um, the Gorilla Glue and these two glues which are meant to be among the strongest on the market for sort of uh, sticking you sort of any sort of embellishments, whether or not it's your resins, clays, or um, your sort of bling. Um, and basically, these two do tend to be the strongest. But if an adult is determined or a child is in destruction mode, given enough time, they can all be taken apart. That that is reality of it. Like I said, these ones are really, really good. Like I said, you will get the least amount of potential sort of like I said, unless somebody is literally trying to damage the bow, these are the two that are least likely to have anything fall off ever. But like I said, there is still the possibility that it that it can happen. So like I said, that that's just my personal opinion and I have literally um I had a piece of ribbon like this um i glued it all i left it for 48 hours for all the the embellishments to sit on it and then like i said i sort of gave it a full tug like i said i took some bows that i'd done with all different ones and i had them all labeled took them to my niece who is almost four um and like i said she is known for taking apart her bows just because she does and she literally tried to rip the things off I don't normally ask her to do these things, she just normally does them just because she's a little bit destructive sometimes, uh, but I let her have free reign to do whatever she wanted, and like I said, um, the ones done with the Gorilla and with a standard glue gun, um, and I had it on two temperatures because I have a two temperature glue gun, I have a 160, um, and on both temperatures of the glue gun and the Gorilla glue, on all embellishments so that's clays resins and your metal blings she managed to rip rip them off in under a minute all three with these ones which is the e8000 or e6000 and the b7000 7000 um like i said they are very strong smelling um and they are multi-level formulas that you can use on fabrics and they are clear drying um, they do stink to high heaven, so use them in well ventilated areas. But she struggled to get them off, and it took them sort of took her a good twenty minutes to sort of manage to peel them off off the bows. So, like I said, those two are the strongest of them. Now, when it comes to the Gorilla one for smaller ones and for bows for slightly older children that don't have the destructive streak of my, my little niece, um, it can be good. Um, I also like the fact that this one has a brush, so when you are making, you can get a bit more precision. And if you're anything like me, if you're using these ones, which have the really thin, I'll show you. Sorry, it sort of glued itself to... This is how strong it can be at times. Has this very, very, very thin needle point. And then I have to find the. Yeah. And then you put it back like that. But it's got a very, very fine point, which is great for me, same as the brush on the Gorilla Glue, because it means that you can get much more precision. And some of the standard super glues with the wider. So that's the B7000 one. And it's the same with this. Again, it's one of these pinpoint ones. This one's slightly wider than the, the B7000. But again, it still gives you that little bit of precision because you can only use the tiniest bit. And like I said, it goes a long way. And like I said, it does glue things really, really well. Now, these three, they're all by the same company, which is Hi-Tac. 
and it's the trimming glue which is good for sort of gems and embellishments and then there is these two which are crafting ones now this one is great so say if you've got a second layer of ribbon and you want to glue sort of another piece of ribbon so you wanted to turn this into a pencil so you'd cut this and then you cut a brown piece to make a pencil this is a good one because it clears it sticks together and holds but it clears dry and it doesn't leave like a build up or any sort of visibility beneath so that's good for that kind of thing which is what this one is specifically designed for and that is the high tech uh, glue i'll find the actual name for it and put it in full and then there is this fray stop one and the trimmer and i use both of these for the same things and I basically use them, so say if I was using, going to do a pinwheel bow of a split colour, so I was going to do half purple and half yellow, I use these to glue together and then sew through, because they are thin enough to sew through, but not good enough by themselves to sort of hold completely. So like I said, they're great for projects where you need that extra bit of hold to keep ribbon in place, um, as you're going along but they don't hold up very well completely by themselves if you do want a, a ribbon uh, glue where you can sort of leave it be and not have to sew through it if you don't need to again this is a multi-purpose one and it can be used for that but like i said it, it's just the smell that puts me off which is why i generally tend to use it more for embellishments and on my bows because i do tend to sew nearly every piece that i make rather than glue wherever i can so those are the glues that you can use. Like I said, these three are best for embellishments. Those two would be the top for all embellishments that I can think of. This one's okay for certain things, but like I said, it can sort of be removed if, if, if anyone is in that kind of sort of nature. And like I said, these ones are more for actual uh, fabric and like I said just sort of as it says it's high tack it's for tacking ribbon in place before you stitch for it okay thanks for watching bye